Good evening. The Premier is refusing to rule out an early election after Maverick MP Rob Pine sensationally quit the Labor Party. It leaves both the government and opposition with 42 seats and dependent on the support of three crossbenchers to pass any legislation. Tegan George reports. It's not his party anymore and Rob Pine is crying foul because he wants to and because he now can. And it's all about the game for these people. He's sick of the argy-bargy from both sides. I come back to Cairns and I have a good bath in Dettol and, uh, and try and clean myself from that process. The disgruntled Cairns MP finally following through with his threat to quit the Labor Party and become an independent. I'm not being second-guessed, muzzled or vetted. Uh, by a political party. Whoever long I have left in this parliament, I'd certainly like to be speaking out uh, powerfully and strongly uh, for Cairns and far north Queensland. The government insists it's business as usual. Ironically, as one minister toured a disaster management centre, the Premier was at point danger, conceding she was caught off guard by his decision. I'm very keen to speak to Rob today. With her minority government clinging to power, an early election to break the deadlock is a possibility. No, I'm not ruling that out. This is not about an election. This is about leadership. Yet Lawrence Springborg flew to Cairns this morning. We will be respectful in any discussions he wants to have. Uh, we certainly have opened the door there. Rob Pine now has significant bargaining power and influence. The move sees him join four existing independents, including the two catters, former Labor MP Billy Gordon and Speaker Peter Wellington. It reduces the government to just 42, equal with the opposition. The Cairns MP vowing he'll still support Labor in a confidence motion. I've got a lot of respect, uh, a lot of respect for Anastasia and the way she carries herself. But he's lost the respect of fellow North Queensland Labor MP Craig Crawford, who says his desertion is an act of treason and proves he's a megalomaniac. No, I don't seek to damage the government, but I do want this government to govern. He thinks the government has lost its way on issues like the Adani coal mine and transparency. Its controversial lockout laws were the final straw, but a tense relationship with Deputy Premier Jackie Trad, his former faction boss, didn't help either. I have never in my 26 years in Parliament seen uh, a senior member of a political party attack one of their own in such a disrespectful and vicious way. The Premier says no one will derail her government. I am not going to allow any person to stand in my way. So if someone stands in your way, you call an early election? Absolutely. Rob Pine's word will be tested next week when Parliament resumes. And Tegan George joins us now from State Parliament. Tegan, what does this mean for the Palaszczuk government? Well, Georgie, it basically means that the Premier and her ministers are going to have to work extra hard if they want to pass any of their legislation. Before this whole mess, they had to convince two crossbenchers to support them. Now they have to sweet talk three. And that could prove to be a little bit difficult soon when new laws come before Parliament surrounding the controversial Adani Carmichael coal mine in central Queensland. But look, this shouldn't have come as a surprise to anyone, certainly not the Premier. Rob Pine has voiced his frustration frustrations with the Labor Party all summer and there were some people within the ALP who were starting to fear that he was becoming a little bit too unpredictable. So I dare say there will be some Labor MPs tonight who will be relieved that all of this drama has come to an end, at least for now. Thank you. Tegan George live there at State Parliament.